Your gift to the world is like a fingerprint. There's only one. And it's imperative before we leave this world that we put our fingerprints all over it. Dahlia McPhee is, is one example of what I think is an emerging uh, phenomenon in Canada, and that is significant designing talent. The Vancouver clothing designer Dahlia McPhee moved to Hollywood to dress the stars. And she's already hit it big, not only with her daring designs, but with her couture with a conscience. Also a big fan of Canadian designer Dahlia McPhee. And last night in L.A., designer Dahlia McPhee was honored for being a Canadian entrepreneur. Modeling for her friend designer Dahlia McPhee's fashion line. Both have a huge love of horses. Striking images feature the fashions of Canadian designer Dahlia McPhee. It's also her idea to throw them into the pool. We're shooting spring summer and spring summer is ethereal. We're inside Dahlia McPhee's private showroom. Designer Dahlia McPhee. Some of you, maybe even all of you, at some point in your life you had an idea, a creation, an invention to solve a problem, improve the human experience, maybe even change the world and you abandon it, right? Thomas Edison had a brilliant idea. He failed at it 1,000 times. But the 1,001 time? You're being honored here tonight and your work, you know I'm one of your biggest fans. When you see Dahlia McPhee's dresses, what's one word that describes her line? Elegance. I would say elegant. Easy. Sexy is overdone. I, I would say glamorous. Every woman. If you could pick one word to describe her line, what would it be? I can't choose one. Fashion is not really about the fashion. It's not really about the clothing. It's about how the clothing makes us feel. It's about the experience that it gives us. And I believe now, for the first time in history, we have access to more resources than ever before to quantify this experience. We are living in the future. Everything the science fiction writers wrote about, everything the dreamers dreamed, it's happening now. You know, we already have clothing that can survive grenade attacks at point blank range, in a digital skin that can make you invisible and self-healing fabrics. And the future, I dream of biometric sensor clothing so that a grandmother who can't be near her grandbaby can feel his heartbeat through her camisole via haptic tap technology. The possibilities are endless, but they're only possible because of our ideas.